After years and years and years of using these damn things, I'm finally finished with them. That's the reason. And I just found something better. The Eagle Brand Torch Lighter. I have never owned a cigarette lighter before in my life. This is the first one I ever bought. You know, I'm not a smoker. Ah, uh, the occasional cigar, usually up at hunting camp. But I just think these are really cool. The finish is mossy oak breakup camo. And I want to get a couple more. But these damn things here, how many years have I put up with these? And they always seem to be running out on me or they won't light when I need them to. And they definitely won't keep a flame in a breeze or a stiff wind, that's for sure. And I also love the phenomenon these have that I call frozen trigger finger. I don't know what it is, but have you ever got one of these butane lighters before where you've just pulled and pulled and pulled and you couldn't get the trigger to come back? It's like some sort of a weird safety device kicked in. Yeah, very frustrating. So I'm going back to Rogue River Sporting Goods and get a couple more lighters and maybe even one of the mini torches. I think that might be a good one to have to keep just for lighting the Coleman stove and my little sport cat heater if I need to, things like that. I have to get a birthday gift from my son too, who lives in Bozeman, Montana. That ought to do it. Sweatshirts, hoodies, zip hoodies, camo hoodies. Where are the t-shirts? Hats, t-shirts. I don't know if that's Matt's style wife beater, but I'll look around a little bit more. Oh, camo. Can't go wrong with camo. Well, take a look at that and see what you think. That is an extra large and uh -huh. That looks like the one I'm after right there. Is it for you? Oh no, it's a oh. it's a gift. Oh okay. How much are these? Uh, I think the twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you very much. You're welcome. I got the best design, the uh, tactical gray logo. Pretty cool. Okay. Oh yeah, plenty of them left. Oh maybe I'll get a red one. That's a good one. See, the other ones he showed me were, oh, I think they're straight ahead there. There's two blacks and a blue. $27.95. Oh, wow. Still, still a bargain. You loaded up on all the swag today. Yes, I did. <laughs> Trade job. So here's what I ended up getting down at Rogue River Sporting Goods. A can of butane, this Eagle Brand mini torch lighter, and three of the Eagle Brand cigarette torch lighters. One in Mossy Oak Breakup Infinity, one in Mossy Oak Blaze, and one in Mossy Oak Obsession. Now you can find these lighters on Amazon, I found one site that's selling a four pack of them, but I'm not sure if that includes free shipping or not. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take three common items that I always use when I'm out camping and see if I can successfully use these Eagle Brand torch lighters to get them going. My Yuko Original Candle Lantern, some paracord, and my Coleman Bottle Top Stove. Let's start with the Coleman Bottle Top Stove. Now let's try it with the torch. You definitely want to keep your hand a good distance away. I know with a match I tend to get in really, really close. But with these torch lighters, I don't think that's necessary. The Yuko candle lantern may be a little bit more challenging. We'll try the cigarette lighter first.
definitely kind of uh, awkward to get in close to the wick because of these uh, little side rails here. But I'm thinking because this is a torch flame, if I aim it right, it should shoot right in there. And there you go. Okay, let's try the torch. Definitely uh, easier to use than the cigarette lighter, but they both work just fine. If you've ever tried to singe the end of a piece of paracord out in the field using one of these things or a match, you know how maddening that can be. But I'm thinking the little Eagle cigarette torch lighter will be the ideal tool for that. Look how clean that 2500 degree flame makes the end of that paracord melt. And while I'm at it, I'm going to take care of something right now. I carry this little uh, plastic Ziploc bag in my pack. And in it, I have lots of different stuff. Rubber gloves, fire starter, and somewhere in here, my lighter. There it is. It's just a cheap little bic. As you can see the problem with it, for one thing, it's not windproof. So today I'm replacing this with this.